Uh, I'll tell you how the Superbike School got started back in 1980. Uh, I'd been racing the uh, Superbike Series here in the United States. It started here, actually, in 76, and I was part of the part of that uh, those uh, first four years, 76, 77, 78, 79. And I uh, de decided to retire at the end of 79. Uh, but, you know, back then I was, you know, 35 years old and that was pretty old for, for road racers, right? That was, uh, th things are different now, right? But I thought, well, you know, I'm getting pretty old. And there are all these young guys coming through, you know, the West Coolies and the Eddie Lawsons and the Wayne Rangers and these guys are coming through. Uh, and uh, they're fast, they got factory rides, right? And it's not a bunch of, uh, you know, good riders with, you know, completely homemade bikes anymore. So I uh, went, you know, why would anybody hire me for a regular job? You know, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't have education for any particular thing, right? I, I went to school, I, was, I did photography and that type of stuff, and I had uh, design shoes and, and so on, but I really didn't want to get back into the apparel business. That was, that was terrible. So uh, I started uh, scouting on, Actually, what happened was I, I got a call one day from uh, a Brit, Richard Lovell. And he called me up and he said, yeah, I'd, uh, uh, I called one of the magazines over here, Cycle Magazine, and the editor out there told me to give you a call because I was thinking about starting a school here. And I went, oh, yeah, a oh, school. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Uh, yeah, what, what kind? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Uh, well, there's one at Brands Hatch, and, you, you know, it's kind of weird because they got these 400 Hondas, and you get on the bike, and they tell you how they tell you how bad it's going to be and how you're going to crash all the time. And he says, it's not really a school at all. And I heard that you've been training writers. And I had been. I'd been coaching writers. I started coaching writers one-on-one -on -one back in 76. So he said, uh, I guess that's why I, I got your number. And I went, OK, well, that sounds like a pretty good idea. And I began to, to promote this idea of having a track school, right? And uh, I'd been connected with Kawasaki. I'd raced their bikes 76 through 79. And I started presenting this idea to the Kawasaki management, like, I want to put people on the track and I want to give them a school, right? I, I got some information, I got some data, I, I, know I, can, I know I can help these people. And they went, racetracks are for racing. Why would anybody want to go ride on a racetrack? And I went, no, 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 you don't get it. It's like the best road there is. It's the, this, this, there is no cops, there are no dogs, there's no intersections, there's no any of this stuff. And like, yeah, 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 yeah. It took me about, about eight months before I finally got through to somebody and they went, Oh, is that what you want to do? I went, yeah, that is. I said, well, that seems like a really good idea. Get these guys out. Well, at least it'll be a really good test ride on the bike. So we got a little stable of KZ550s from Kawasaki. And uh, we started off at Riverside Raceway in the spring of, of 1980. And uh, again, so just right now, 40 years ago. And uh, at that time, you know, we didn't have the levels to the school. We didn't have a lot of coaching uh, like we do now. I was doing briefings and uh, passing on the information that I had used for my my one on one coaching, which had been very, very successful, actually. And uh, and people were thankful for that. And and some star writers would come out and listen to my briefings. You know, Eddie Lawson, five time, five, four time world champion, came out and he would ride on our KZ 550s and and, and listen to my briefings. And I saw I, I was pretty pumped. Right? And uh, that year we, uh, we were at Riverside. Uh, we did, uh, I think, three schools. And the last school of the year was at Laguna Seca. And uh, from there, we pushed out and started moving across the America. There was nobody else out there doing this. There were no track days of any kind in America at that time. So we were pretty much it. If, if, uh, if you wanted to get on a racetrack, we were the place to go. You know, we had the leathers, we had the helmets, we had the boots, we had the bikes, we had some instruction, and you know, that was, it was a whole brand new thing. And so we op opened up a pretty interesting can of worms.